Hello and welcome. My name is Amanda Gerhardt and today's yoga flow is going to be centered around toning the body, strengthening the muscles, and help kickstarting the metabolism. So we'll be working with just our mats and our bodies today and we will actually start laying down in a supine position and then work our way to standing. So go ahead and take a spot on your mat and make your way all the way down. So roll all the way down, find your back against the floor, head against the floor, and drop those shoulders open. And on your next breath, bring both knees into the chest. Start to give your knees a hug, and maybe shifting them from side to side, gently waking up the hips, creating a little bit of movement here. Good. Next, we're going to cactus those elbows out to the side. So elbows are in line with our shoulders on the ground. We lift up on our inhale with the knees and we drop them over to the right softly on your exhale for a nice supine twist. Gaze towards the left. Taking slow, deep breaths. And go ahead and send the knees back up to the center. Inhale and exhale, drop them over to the left, gazing towards the right. Softening through that back, softening through the core. Doing twists are so good for the body. It's nice and detoxifying. So on your next inhale, bring the knees back up to center and grab hold of the outer shins. And on your next breath, we inhale and exhale, contract the forehead to your knees like you're trying to create a tiny little ball. And here we're setting up the core, feeling it engaging here. And on your exhale, send the left leg down, hold on to your right knee, lower the head and back. Good, drawing the knee into the chest. Inhale, exhale to contract, chin to the knees and release that right leg, release the head back down. Inhale, contract in. And exhale, release the left leg down. Inhale to contract in. And exhale, release the right leg down. Our head goes down. Now one more round of these, inhale, contract. This time we have the option to release the left leg and allow it to hover and allow your shoulders to hover. Hold here and inhale, contract. Exhale, release the right leg. Allow the leg and neck to hover, shoulders hovering off the floor. Inhale, contract. Left leg to hover. Option to keep your shoulders off the floor. You can also take them down. Inhale, contract the knees in. Release the right leg. Exhale. One more round. Inhale, contract. Use your abdominals to hold you up. Exhale, release the left leg. Inhale, contract. And exhale the right leg down. Inhale to contract and release everything down. Good, feet find the mat. Our back and our head find the back of the mat. Good. Next, we're going to walk our heels in towards our hips, into our glutes a little bit, keeping our feet hip distance apart 
and placing your palms onto the mat. We're gonna place the weight into the heels, lifting slowly through our hips up to the sky, finding bridge pose. So firming through the back of the legs and we're drawing up the abdominals here, firming through the core, everything nice and strong. Take a breath in and exhale, lower the hips down softly. On your next bridge, scoop those hips up, firming through the core, firming through the back of the legs. Take a breath in at the top and exhale, lower the hips back down to the mat. One more round, inhale, scoop the hips up to the sky, pressing into the heels. Maybe going a little higher this time. And exhale, lowering down. Good, maybe you're starting to feel the heat on the back of the legs. We're gonna go one more. Inhale, press into the heels, scoop the hips up to the sky. Next, we're gonna lift your toe, right toes up to the sky. Hold here, inhale. And exhale, lower the right leg in line with the left. Inhale to lift, exhale to lower. Inhale, lift, pressing through that left side. One more. And lower the toes back down to the mat, pressing up and lowering slowly down with the hips. Good, take a moment of stillness. And on your next breath, let's scoop the hips up to the sky, firming through that right side. We extend the left toes up into the air and exhale, lowering the leg down in line with the right. Inhale to lift, exhale to lower. Inhale to lift, exhale lower. Inhale, lift and folding the left leg slowly back in with control, pressing up equally into both feet before we roll back down. Nice job. Now grab hold of the back of the legs as we rock and roll up to a seated Navasana pose for three and two and one. So rocking up, making sure our torso is in a nice diagonal back. And we're gonna start to lift our toes off of the mat. You can either stay here or lift the feet in line with your knees. You can hold on to the back of the legs or release the hands for an added challenge. We hold here for Navasana to breathe in for three. And exhale. Another breath in. And exhale. Draw the belly in. Inhale. And exhale. And lower those feet back down to the mat. Good, we're gonna go for another round of Navasana, but instead we're going to clasp our fingertips together, find a Kali Mudra, so index fingers pointing forward. Okay, so we find our Navasana first. Toes either stay on the ground for this one, or a super challenge, we lift the legs. And we find our Kali Mudra. We shoot the fingers forward. Inhale, lift up and crossing over to the right, exhale. Inhale to lift, exhale over to the left. Inhale to lift, exhale energy through the fingers. Inhale to lift, exhale over. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, crossing over. Two more to cross, firming through the core. Cross, inhale, last one, cross. And exhale to cross. And we're turning back, placing our feet back down on the mat. Ooh, excellent job. So next we're going to shift, cross our legs and shift our weight into our hands. Find your tabletop pose. And we get to take a nice stretch here for our cat and cow. So we're gonna inhale, scoop the heart forward, let the belly stretch down and relax. 
Our back is stretching. And exhale, chin to chest, curling those abdominals we just worked up and in, chin to chest. Inhale to extend. And exhale, contract. One more, inhale, extend. And exhale, contract. Release the breath, returning back to tabletop. And we're gonna extend our right leg back and lift it up in line with the hip. Option to just stay here, or you can slide the left fingertips down and up in line with the shoulder for our bird dog. And here we're gonna take a breath in. And on your exhale, draw the knee into the nose or the elbow. Inhale to reach. Exhale, draw the knee in to touch elbow or nose. Inhale to reach. Exhale to contract. And inhale, release. Placing the feet and hand back to the mat. We're going to next extend the right leg back like we did before, lifting it up in line with the hip and flex that foot up to the ceiling, bending through the knee. On your next breath, send the right leg out to the side in line with the hip and softly lowering it down and flex that heel up to the sky again. Breath in, carrying it to the side and lowering it back down. One more, pressing it up, flexing through that foot, carrying it side and lowering it down. Good. Um, on the next side, we're extending our left leg back. Lift through that left leg in line with the hip. A strong position here, or we slide our right hand forward and up in line with the shoulder. Two options, we inhale. Exhale, contract the knee into nose or elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, contract. Inhale to reach. Exhale, contract. Inhale, reach. Exhale, contract. And reach one last time, placing the hand and knee back to the mat. And we scoop next our toes back and flex our heel up to the ceiling on the left side. We carry it over to the left, knee in line with the hip, and exhale, lowering it down. Flex that left foot up to the ceiling, bending the knee over to the left, and lowering it down, controlling the core, lifting up here in the belly. Heel up to the ceiling, to the side with the knee, and lowering it back down. Great job. Start to tuck those toes as we find our downward facing dog, pressing our weight back into the heels, making sure your spine is in line with your head. So nothing up or down with the head. It's nice in line. And go ahead and pedal out those feet, waking up the ankles, maybe waking up the legs, taking a big bend of the legs and stretch and start to walk those feet into the hands. We find forward fold. Slight bend of the legs here. Allow your neck and shoulders to release, shaking the head yes and no. On your next inhale, halfway lift, hands find the shins. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky and hands meet at heart center, exhale. Sweeping those arms up to the sky. Inhale, bowing forward. We find forward fold. Planting the hands onto the mat, we step back to high plank. Option to drop the knees here as we shift the weight forward and lower slowly down to chaturanga. Untuck the toes, pressing up for cobra or extend through the arms fully for upward facing dog. Exhale, lowering it back down to the mat. Tuck the toes, find downward facing dog. Good, start to step the feet back in towards the hands, find forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. 
Exhale, forward fold and bend through those legs. Sweep the arms down and up to find our chair pose, Ukatasana. So sending your hips all the way back, bending through those knees. Shoulders are down. Try to get those knees over those ankles. And inhale, reach up for Tadasana. Bow forward, forward fold. Stepping back to high plank. Lowering down softly to Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, down. Tucking the toes, shift the weight back into the heels, down dog. Lifting our right leg up to the sky and exhale, draw the right knee in, placing it on the mat. Send your back heel down as we sweep the arms up to the sky. Find warrior one. Our back foot is parallel, or sorry, our back foot is at 45 degrees. Our front foot is nicely in line with the knee. Reach those arms up to the sky. Inhale, bow forward, placing the hands on either side of the foot and step back to high plank. Option to drop the knees as we lower to chaturanga. Inhale, cobra, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale back down to the mat. Tucking the toes, shifting the weight back to down dog. Bringing those feet in together. We inhale, sweep the left leg up to the sky. And exhale, draw the knee into the nose, placing the foot down. Sweeping those arms forward and up, pressing that back heel down into the mat. Back foot at 45 degree angle. Warrior one. Shoulders drop down. Inhale and exhale, forward fold over that leg, stepping the foot back to high plank and lowering down to chaturanga. Inhale, halfway lift or upward facing dog. Exhale down. Shifting the weight back, we find down dog. And either step or hop the feet into the hands to find forward fold. Release that neck. We inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend through those knees, shoot the fingertips forward and up to the sky, bend through the legs to find Ukatasana chair pose again. Squeezing those legs together, shoulders drop down. And inhale to stand back up, hands meet at heart center. Exhale for Tadasana. Good, next we're gonna open up to the long edges of our mat and drop down into goddess pose. Feet are slightly turned out here. Knees are pressing out towards the outer edges of the feet. And we bring our hands to heart center. Find stillness. And maybe shifting your weight from side to side. And next we're gonna do one more exercise here, bringing the hands at the back of the neck. We're gonna lift up and over towards your left up and over towards the right, up and over to the left, up and over to the right, working those obliques. Two more sets, up and over to the side. One more, up and over to the side, each direction. And extend those arms long and turn the legs back in, find a forward fold. Both feet are pointing to the long edges of the mat. Wide-legged forward fold here. And go ahead and walk your hands to over to grab onto the right leg. Good. On your next breath, walk the hands over towards that left leg, grab hold. Good, send the hands to your hips and roll up to standing. And then go ahead and just cross the legs, take a seat, find Sukhasana, settle back in, and take a nice sweeping breath with the arms up to the sky. 
and hands me down at heart center. Namaste. Thank you guys for doing that flow with me. Let me know how you liked it. Hit the like button or drop a comment below. And I hope that was good for you. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and return every week for new videos. Thanks, have a good day.